Hi, everybody. Welcome. You're here at Elevated Living with Z. And if you're a returning guest, thank you for coming back. And if you're a first timer, welcome here. Um, <laughs> this particular video will be a raw Reiki style um, or Reiki infused energy video. And the way it works, if you don't already know, um, is I'm going to do some Reiki energy to connect us. But more importantly, I put, um, I'm going to connect to all the energies that are today in our night sky, which happen to be Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto, Mars, a handful of some beautiful star clusters. I not only took pictures, but I screenshotted where they are on sky map so you guys can see. The moon is absolutely stunning and will definitely be affecting everything I got going on. Let me see if you guys can see. So I will be mm, connecting to all this beautiful energy that um, is all around me. And um, I'll be downloading any information that comes through. Um, in, in, in terms of uh, channeled messages, healing codes or words or anything, or sometimes nothing, no words come through. But um, in the meantime, I will also be drawing up Mother Earth energy and um, doing healing, like pulling up energy through the chakras, opening each and every individual chakra. I will be um, feeling for any heaviness, stuck energy, hooks and holes, and pulling and plucking whenever I can, and at the same time receiving the messages. The thing, the whole thing lasts three to five minutes, but in my, my time feels like forever, and your time will look like three or five minutes. And then um, if there's anything relevant that you guys needed to hear, at the end of the video, I will tell you guys whatever messages, whatever I felt, if there were things that were heavier than other things, so. Um, <laughs> so I know that those of you that already knew, already knew that, <laughs> but we have a lot of newbies coming through, which I'm so grateful for. And for you guys, that's, you know, I want you guys to really just know what you're getting into. Um, so you guys see me in the mirror, you guys can see me in the eyeglasses. <laughs> I love that. Um, so, um, without any further ado, let's get to the, um, general housekeeping so that we can get to the good stuff. Um. Please hit the like and subscribe button if you do like this stuff. Not just for me, but all your favorite YouTubers, whether we're healers or news people or gossip people. Because it helps YouTube know that you like us. It helps other people see that we're there. And it's really good for everybody. So, that said, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Please feel free to share with whoever and whatever you want. And if there's anything else that I haven't said. Oh yeah, you guys, I'm still open for booking sessions. I now have more slots. I've ran out of bracelets. I'm supposed to be making necklaces, and I'm working on that soon. Thank you for all of those who supported that um, when I was doing it. Um, I love you guys so much. I thank you guys for being a part of my life. I so look forward to hearing and feeling what I got to feel on the other end. And don't forget, if you need anything, want anything, feel like you need a specialized video, you guys, you guys already know. Just message me down below, and I'll get it. I just finished creating a neck video it should go out before this one so you guys should have already seen it if you haven't already click on it the moment i finished it this and while i was doing it this heaviness came out but all around my neck i was having stiffness and pain and immediately it went away so you guys really heavy awesome video um let me get right to this you guys i love you so so much i hope to see you on the other side and yep yeah.
Hey my loves, I know you guys are used to seeing my face and I will absolutely flip the camera around in one second. I just wanted you guys to get a glimpse of the moon and I didn't know how else to show it to you guys except for like that. See, look, now that I did that, you guys can see Mars. That's Mars and that's the moon. It'll help a lot. Now let me see if I turn off this flash, if it'll give you guys a glimpse of the night sky and we will refocus. And if you guys can see... My camera's having a very hard time focusing on that spot right there. But that is Mars. And that is our moon for tonight, you guys. Okay? Mm. And let's see if I can pan over here and you guys can catch Jupiter in the same possible way. So we will see if we can block that out. Okay, guys. So that is Jupiter right there for you guys. And um, that's also Saturn and Pluto trying to get a picture of all that for you guys out just the rock <laughs> you guys um after that um i got really distracted and i got to thinking god that power the message i had must be so powerful and it really was i was there longer than most times as you guys can see and um one of the things that when i was there so you guys understand when, before I even had a chance to finish checking us in together and do all those symbols I do, the Reiki, um, something came in. I felt like it, it maybe from Mars, moon energy from that area, right away was a purple three-spotted um, triangle. So it's a triangle and three purple lights. And then I like was like, what the? And it came in right away. And from that moment, I had no control I mean, I had control, like I'm a physical human being, but I had very little want to stop this as a human or consciousness, but very little control over what was going on healing-wise. Um, what started to happen is um, the, the next right away big thing was that the purple light led me to believe that we needed to work on the crown chakra. So I got to it right away. I was like, OMG. I need this, we need this, we need to open it up. Um, but when I tried to pull energy up through it, it was blocked, completely blocked. So I decided to start going through some healing first and scanning and I found that we had this, the energy around the neck again. So I was like, okay, I just dealt with that. I said that at the beginning of the video, why is it here and then um, resources this this very different energy that doesn't usually come through I haven't really heard before was just saying pluck pull grab it you need to let it go this is ancient years of pressure weighed down from not having from like basically the way that they described it to me is like all this energy that we have coming up and needs to come down and it's supposed to flow but because most of us have that um, blocked um, crown chakra you know, it stops right there and it causes like this pressure down. And I was like, oh my, this was very, very intense. Um, and the pressure, so I just, you know, and I, and I realized that that's what we, a lot of us have been feeling. Not everybody, it's not applicable to everybody because I also have an injury in my neck that I'm dealing with. But every other feeling that I had, I was able to pull up and let go at that moment. I was like, oh, yay, whoo. Thank you, Source. Thank you, Energy. This is amazing. Um, so, uh, and then after that, I did get into the crown chakra, and I opened up all that massive energy to pull up whatever I just released from the neck and the shoulders and the upper back, and I pulled it all up and out. I opened the chakra nice and big and in alignment with the others, and then I balanced all the chakra energies and it was a swirl of things but now that was all the healing and the physical things that took place there was one message gosh and this is why i said this had to be huge because i'm super distracted and i started getting all into the moon and trying to get you guys these great pictures and i'm like wait a minute this is the most important message check this out guys and look at that and this is a hundred and still a hundred degrees. We're in Arizona, mid summer and August. And you know what? Right now the coolest breeze just came through again. Like I said, somebody doesn't want to tell you this. 
So the message was that we need to filter the information that's coming in. It is critical. And now that we have this chakra open, and even this is the message that came through right away before I could even breathe right after the three purple dots, but it didn't have to do with the healing. I just wanted to get that out of the way. And then here, I'm telling you guys, this is the most prevalent message I kept hearing it over and over and over and over again. And then when I opened up the chakra, it became even more important that I heard it again and again. So the message is this, you guys. Guard every piece of information coming in. Nothing is safe. Nobody is truthful. You need to do all of your research. I don't care if it's media, if it's book work, if it's past or present, if it's your mom, your dad, your brother, your aunt, your uncle. You need to do your research. Filter everything that comes through because it is critical right now. Not every energy or vibration, even the good ones, are right for you right now. And it's a time for filtering, processing, protecting who and what you are and allowing for the proper type of information to come through. I need you guys to hear me here. It's so, so important. Filter everything coming in. It means low vibrating shows, low vibrating energy, low vibrating music, music that you think you love but might not have the right message for you right now. And the ending message that I got, oh my God, that was so important for you guys to hear was that for all of you that freak out like I do when I hear a message like this, I'm like, but I love my rock and roll. And what about Pantera? And, and things like that. You know what? They said to me, the energies, I said, but it's not forever. We said, for now. At some point, our vibration will be that of such high quality and such, we all have such an energetic bubble around us as, as we are finished forming that we won't need to protect ourselves from that kind of energy. It'll naturally, we will raise the vibration of things rather than be a source of allowing, I mean, rather than allowing things to um, lower our vibration will be a source of raising the vibration of things. So this time will come soon. But kind of like right now we're the cocoon of, in the process of becoming the butterfly. And we are in a very delicate state. So filter, filter, filter everything that comes through. And especially now that your crown chakra is open. Because you're open to all energies. And good, bad, or otherwise. And you need to just know what, you know, know what feels good in here. Know what, what starts to, that, that things don't feel good. Kick it out. Say, no, thank you, not for me, not right now, or I'm sorry, not this song, not today. Um, right now, it's I'm into this really weird do, 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 do kind of music. It's crazy. Not a lot of words to it, but a lot of positive, vibrating energy where people are gathered together and doing all kinds of crazy things. It makes me feel good to my soul, whereas like other things like hip-hop, where I'm used to very much love to do and like to rap over the music songs and all that stuff. I can't do that right now and it's crazy. But it's because we are transforming into something greater and better. That's the general message there. We'll protect your energy and, um, and you know, because we're transforming and our crown chakras are nice and clean and open, we have now balanced everything. So for a recap of what I think I remember now, we, um, I had a purple light energy come through and let me know and we that I needed to work on the crown chakra and this one was all about that chakra and um, so we opened it cleared it expanded it nice and wide we balanced the overall seven chakras as a whole we pulled up mother earth energy and pulled down all the celestial energies I can find that were in the sky available to us and dragged them into our heart and soul and kind of like try to recycle them through our filter I um, also healed and pulled and plucked all kinds of stuff in the neck and shoulder area that was holding us back from feeling overall well. Um, and then finally, the fifth and most important thing is we were told and instructed to protect our energy, protect our um, things coming in, filter everything that's coming through, filter everything that's coming through, protect your energy through filtering everything that comes in, from music to television, to friends, to family, to phone calls, anything and everything you can protect yourself from right now. Stop it and do it because we are in the process of transformation. 
and we are right now the cocoon turning into the beautiful butterfly. So I know of all the times I've ever done this, this was the longest ending of them all. So um, I hope this wasn't too much for you guys. For those of you who stuck it out in this longer, raw, Reiki energy video, this was one of the more important ones to me because it was so heavy, so needed to be spoken, and I got so distracted after that. I was like, dude, you guys really need to hear it. So for those of you that stuck it out, thank you so, so much. Thank you. I love you guys so much. If even just one of you stayed, that's everything. I don't care. This is what it's for, for the one person that needed it. Um, but many of you show up, and I thank you guys for that even more. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. That's your thing. Um, I really love you guys. Um, I thank you for all your love and support, and I can't wait till the next one.